Now that the scientists have spoken on the realities of climate change, I believe it is time to direct our energies to what we can and should do to counteract the danger and stop unnecessary arguments. Nature has been brutal this year in demonstrating to us that our climate is changing and we're probably pushing our world to destruction. The devastation wrecked by Cyclone Idai, Hurricane Dorian, the extreme summer temperatures across Europe surely provide the evidence, if some were still needed, that it's time to take action to bring back our world from the precipice. This year is the 50th anniversary of the historic landing on the moon which was a seminal event that celebrated scientific achievement and humanity's triumph. The image that has stayed with me since I was 25 years old and which still brings me true awe and wonder is that picture of the Earth taken from the vantage point the astronauts had, which showed clearly the truth of the one world that we inhabit. We could try to delineate our borders more clearly we could make clearer distinctions on the basis of color, race, language, and creed. That picture tells us the natural path is to be inclusive. This in no way is meant to paper over the many difficulties we have in our part of the world that we have to overcome, or to suggest that because some parts of the world are developed and prosperous, we can pretend all is well with us as well. In my part of the world, we do not argue over what constitutes poverty. We know it, we live with it, feel it, and it is a daily reality. As the old saying goes, birds sing, not because they have answers, but because they have songs. There might not be any one answer to the theme of this 74th General Assembly, but the hope is that the discussions point us to the possibility of a new world in which collaboration between the nations and peoples is on such a scale that one can dream of and achieve a sustainably prosperous world. I thank you for your attention.